All right, Hillary Clinton back in the headlines. The FBI now reviewing the probe into her emails after one of the top agents on that case in that probe and also the same agent was on the special on the Robert Mueller special counsel. Uh, he was caught sending anti-Trump text messages to a colleague. But Hillary Clinton unfazed in this. Instead, she is taking aim at the Senate's newly passed tax plan. In the last uh, 24 hours, the Senate passed this absolutely horrible tax cut plan, okay? Now, it's great for Donald Trump and his family. It's great for the billionaires who support him. This could not be a more blatant and insulting attack on hardworking Americans. And we can't let them get away with it. So much hysteria around this tax plan. But is this renewed probe that we are talking about bigger than Hillary Clinton thinks? Here now to debate that is the spokesperson for America First Action PAC, uh, Katrina Pearson, and Democratic strategist Chuck Rocha. Guys, thanks so much for coming on this Thank morning. I guess morning. we start here with uh, Peter Strzok. This is the, uh, the gentleman we're talking about here. He was part of the Hillary Clinton probe, also on the Bob Mueller probe into President Trump, and apparently he he does not like uh, the president very much and has said so in text messages. Katrina, we'll start with you. Uh, does this surprise you that, that there appears to be this kind of bias within the FBI? No, it doesn't surprise me at all. Hillary Clinton cl clearly is trying to stay relevant, and she's very comfortable and confident that she's going to continue to get away with all of the misdeeds that she's done. We're talking about Mueller's team, a team that is stacked deep with Democrat donors. And Peter Strzok was having an affair with one of the FBI lawyers on Miller's team who he was text messaging with. This case is definitely going to go forward. I see no reason why the House doesn't move forward with these contempt charges because clearly the Department of Justice and the FBI have been blocking those requests for information through the subpoenas the House issued. And we're talking about a body that needs to be investigated. So, of course, we have to investigate the investigators at this point because the bias is absolutely clear and this needs to go forward. Okay, Chuck, I know you're obviously not on the Trump train here. You were a Bernie Sanders guy. Um, but you have to admit that this does appear to show. I mean, the president just put out a tweet about the FBI, you know, lacking credibility in a lot of ways, and he got a lot of fire for that. This doesn't look good, though, does it? It doesn't. You know, I'll remind everybody that the Republicans are in control of everything in this city. They have the White House, the House, the Senate. If they want to yeah. open any kind of investigation that they want to open, I welcome that. They can do anything they want to. For a Democratic consultant, it's news to my ears because I think the American people are ready to move on past uh, Hillary Clinton and get, put that behind them. But I want to make sure that if there was any wrongdoings, they have every right to open up every investigation they want to, just like they've done with Russia and other things. Yeah, no, that's well, a good Chuck point. Chuck is absolutely right. For the first time, Chuck and I agree on something. Uh, and that's one of the things that, that a lot of people have been upset about with Attorney General Jeff Sessions. If he's not going to appoint a special counsel to investigate the investigators, then the House has no choice but to move forward with contempt. This idea that suddenly now they want to make people available to talk to the House after the, the request or threatening of being in contempt, that's unacceptable. We are talking about millions of dollars yeah. that private citizens are having to be paid through hiring attorneys to fight this this ridiculous Russia case. Well, and, and, and this Katrina, has to you, be justified. Remember, let's go back to the Hillary Clinton scandal. And, and remember when he came out, you know, uh, before the election and uh, James Comey came out and, 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 and requested or, or suggested that no charges be filed against Hillary Clinton. A lot of people said that's really out of his purview to make that kind of statement. Uh, and then you see this kind of behavior as well. And it all starts to make you wonder, I mean, was there really just a preference within the FBI that Donald Trump not win this election. Well, I think that's already been uh, clarified, Rob. And if we look at James Comey, this guy, Peter Strzok, was the same guy that helped him draft that statement prior to a lot of this information coming out. So, of course, you have you have a, a, a team right now under Mueller who shouldn't even be in charge, Rosenstein included. Uh, Fox News has already reported with Greg Jarrett. These guys should yeah. not, they, sh they should have stepped aside based on the legal statute alone, and they haven't. Yeah. And now we see that they've been covering for people inside their own team that are biased against the president, and they weren't fired, yeah. and that's the problem here. That individual is still at the FBI. And let me go over to Chuck real quick. Just, uh, I want to talk about the tax plan really Real fast. Uh, you're probably not a big proponent of it, but we have seen a lot of progress here in just the last nine, ten months. Our GDP has exploded. I think it's double what it was under President Obama right now. We are seeing jobs coming back. Uh, is this tax plan as bad as the Democrats are trying to paint it? 
It is, Rob, because you just made my case because the government's doing better or the, the economy's doing really good. You don't give tax cuts to millionaires when the government is doing so good and when the, the job economy is doing good. Donald Trump talks about doubling the stock market and all the wonderful things. GDP growth is going up. That's not the time you give fat cats in Wall Street more money. Yeah, this but, is just but, a but, payback. But, just millions, a payback uh, but if, if millions of jobs come back to the United States, that's a Bernie Sanders style idea right there in itself. This is stuff that Absolutely. I think you should that's agree why with. The, that's why the Democrats wanted to put into this bill. If you're going to repatriate this money, let's guarantee that it's going to go to the workers and to the regular people. They wouldn't even do that because they so want to you, give it back to their so donor you wanna, friends. So you want to see that guarantee on the, on the paper? If they I'd get like that. to see workers yeah. get, a, get a raise. Is that kind of unique? Real I workers wouldn't. haven't had a raise in 20 years. I'd like to see raises. I'd like to see more jobs, too. Guys, thanks so much but, for but coming on this The reason why this, this is going so well is because of the optimism that President Trump has brought to this country in anticipation of this tax plan. Yeah, there's definitely economic optimism despite everything else. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming on this morning.